Well, hey everyone, welcome back to La Granja Escondida, and this weekend, it's all about framing. Uh, it's going to be a good time. However, the one cool thing about this clip I'd like you to pay attention to, other than my framing, is the weather. Just check out the clouds moving behind me. It, it, it was a crazy weekend. It was just temp super temperamental. All right, well, it's Saturday, and, well... We might have been out there just for just a little bit, but the weather kind of turned on us as it likes to do. So we're suspending uh, building operations for just the moment. Once this lightens up, I'll start buttoning shit up and uh, I don't know, maybe call it for a day, see if it uh, see if it changes. We'll see, but uh, it's definitely uh, freezing rain. Little little tiny little hills, along with some slush. It's all good. It's okay. Well, the rain passed, and as you can tell, if you keep watching the clouds, it's it's just super temperamental. Southwestern Pennsylvania is just crazy for weather. Uh, but here I am just trying to finish up squaring up all the posts, making sure that these uh, 2x10s are nice and level to each other, getting them ready. All right, well, I'm going to have to call it quits, at least for today. Uh, hail's coming down pretty good. So I better button shit up. But as you can see, we are getting everything ready. Got a couple of joists in. It's looking pretty good. I can't complain. Nice and level. Alrighty, <laughs> I better fucking get going. Hey everyone, welcome back to La Granja Escondida. As you can tell, uh, we're getting our framing back on. It's Sunday. It's a beautifully cloudy day. Uh, it's 35 degrees out and it's good. It's nice and muddy, I can't complain. Hopefully today we're gonna to finish up with these uh, subfloor joists, put, on, put down our vapor barrier both on the ground and on the joists. Uh, and that might be it uh, until we get some plywood in here, which is gonna to suck to get, but it's good progress. Um, I'm happy with it, can't, can't really complain too much. Hopefully, hopefully the weather is compliant today. I don't know, we'll see. But it should be a good day. Let's see what happens. Well, uh, the other day I got, was able to finally get a, a couple joists in, and I'm just here getting the rest of them. I had a different dimensional lumber, like 2x8s, 2x6s, 2x9s. A lot of this lumber was, uh, was older. I got off a gentleman on Craigslist, just had it sitting in his basement forever. Uh, but it works, it's sturdy, can't complain. It's going to work for us. I have a lot of Thompson's water seal to spray on these as soon as I get everything in position. And uh, so far it's working out. It's starting to look like a subfloor of a, of a building. Well, a very small building, but that's okay. Uh, it was slow progress and the mud was just not helpful. It was shit to get any traction on, but uh, it was a good time. I have, I've, been have, I've been really enjoying myself through, through this process. Alrighty, we are just about done with this frame, or frame of the subfloor. Yeah, we're looking good. Yeehaw. All right, it's coming together. It's starting to look like, uh, well, like we're starting. <laughs> I know it's been slow going, but like, like all of you, I, I have work, I have a life to lead. Uh, lead, not leave. Oh God, I don't want to leave my life. Uh, but things are things are things are busy. Uh, for those of you who didn't know, my wife and I are expecting a child. We're pretty excited about that, but that also means this has to get done. <laughs> I can't dawdle, so that's why I'm kind of burning through this weekend here, uh, trying to get this settled. So I am very excited. It's looking pretty good. As I said, it is muddy as fuck around here, but I'm very very happy, very pleased. The next thing to do is put in our our supports going across the middle uh, for the joists. Again, those are gonna be individually cut because all of our joists are different dimensions. We have two by sixes, two by eights, um, these two by tens. Yeah, we have all kind of crazy lumber around here, but it's okay. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be great. I am very, ooh, this feels good. All right, next step. All right, so what I'm doing here is cutting uh, ledges, like just notching out these support beams. That way we don't have to use uh, carriage bolts on them, so that way they have a nice little shelf to kind of rest on. 
and take that weight that's going to come from the rest of the walls and the flooring and basically the rest of the rest of the little cabin. Uh, it's a little bit easier this way and I like it and I want to try my hand at it and it turned out looking pretty good. Alright guys, out working on the platform for the, the cabin. Got all the posts, all the joists, it's working on the center uh, structure of it. Uh, big point of everything being out here was to make it all from nature, even though it's a lot of store bought and recycled, but that's okay. Um, but um, we wanted to use material materials around us, so we actually went to the river, pulled a piece of river rock out. Isaac hurled it up over his shoulder like the manly man he is, <laughs> carried it back from the river, fought off three bears while doing it, and sunk it into the centerpiece for the structure uh, to uh, balance out and support the cabin. And we're gonna build it from there. I'm really grateful that Jeremy came out. It was wonderful uh, having some help. Uh, but yeah, we're just finishing up, uh, notching out all the rest of the support posts, uh, mocking them, getting them, you know, mocked up and getting them ready for when we put in the ground vapor barrier, which is basically just a giant tarp. Um, but so we're gonna, we're gonna throw that down on the ground and get our support, support posts on top of them and start getting it ready for the next step. All right, so remember how when we built this little bridge, there wasn't a whole lot of water here, and I was like, it gets pretty muddy. Well, this is what it looks like. We're starting to build that little channel. So it works its way down over there back to the creek. It already flows that way, but man, it is a big mess until it does. <sighs> so we don't want to completely remove this little marshy ecosystem. We just want to regulate it a little bit better than what it is right now because there's a lot of stuff here that's kind of become dependent on it. and we want to do our own little bit of subsistence farming out here with mushrooms and they require a good amount of moisture nice shade and this type of environment uh, we see a lot of other mushrooms growing here so we're pretty excited about trying it ourselves but anyways i uh, just wanted to show you that uh this is why we built it it's a big old mess Alrighty, we are just about buttoned up and ready to go home for the weekend. It's all good. Pretty happy. Really glad Jeremy decided to come by. That was great. I was expecting to be working by myself uh, this weekend, but it was great. With his help, we managed to get the, uh, the subfloor framing done. We got the vapor barrier down. And we're buttoned up. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that will hold up and not get too fucked up over the next week or so. Uh, but yeah, I think one of the things I'm going to do nowadays is start doing like my my last shot, doing a couple action shots from the creek. Uh, I got some messages that people really like that, and I like it. So uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by La Granja Escondida, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.